In choosing aerial refueling aircraft and military transport planes, the world's aerospace powers have a wide range of options, from the KC-46 and C-390 to the A-400M, but none can surpass the A-330 MRTT. With intercontinental range and formidable logistical capabilities, it has repeatedly proven its ability to reshape the battlefield in the skies. There was even a time when the U.S. Air Force begged for it over the KC-46, a rare event in history. But just how superior is this tanker? And why can it crush its rivals, especially the KC-46? Let's find out. Imagine a commercial airliner, a multi-million dollar jet that once carries thousands of passengers on vacation or business trips is taking off. But this time, its mission is not to serve a holidaymaker, but to participate in a battle. It all began with the Airbus A330, a legend of civil aviation. Launched in the 1990s, this aircraft quickly won over major airlines like Air France, Emirates, and Cathay Pacific. The reason was simple. It flew far, was durable, and extremely fuel efficient. With a continuous flight range of over 13,000 kilometers, the A330 became a bridge between distant continents, a symbol of efficiency and reliability. More than 1,500 units were sold, making it one of the most successful aircraft in Airbus's history. But Airbus saw a greater potential. They didn't just want the A330 to be a means of passenger transport, they wanted it to be a strategic weapon. Therefore, they decided to transform this aircraft, turning it into a multi-role flying tanker, the A330 MRTT, multi-role tanker transport. This wasn't just an ordinary tanker aircraft, but a perfect fusion of the A330's strengths and the most advanced in-flight refueling technology. In-flight refueling technology may sound modern, but it actually has a long and adventurous history. Going back to the 1920s, pioneering pilots risked their lives to conduct the first experiments. On June 25, 1923, two U.S. Army Air Service planes successfully connected a 15-meter refueling hose in midair for the first time, a historic moment that opened up the possibility of unlimited continuous flight. They broke 16 world records in a single flight that lasted over 37 hours. Since then, this technology has been continuously improved, from simple hoses to complex automatic refueling booms, allowing it to refuel everything from fighter jets like the F-16, Rafale to transport aircraft, VIP jets, and even other tankers. The process of magically transforming the A330 into the version MRTT takes place at the Airbus Defense and Space Center in Getafe, Spain. The civilian A330 200s, after being produced in Toulouse, are flown directly to Getafe to have their entire interior stripped out, their structure reinforced, new military avionics installed, and a modern in-flight refueling system equipped. The A330 MRTT didn't just fill a gap, it replaced outdated tanker aircraft. As specialized models like the KC-135 and KC-10 entered retirement, this Airbus tanker has stood out with its superior range, transport capacity, and performance. It became the lungs in the sky, helping combat aircraft operate longer, fly farther, and react faster in any emergency situation. So, what makes the tanker, once a commercial aircraft, invincible in the skies of war? First and foremost, what secures the A330 MRTT's position as the number one tanker is its colossal fuel capacity, up to 111 tons, the highest in the world today. This is a decisive advantage for any aerial refueling aircraft, putting it far ahead of its competitors. This massive capacity can be further increased through additional tanks in the cargo hold, enabling the MRTT to maintain an impressive 97% in-flight refueling success rate, maximizing mission effectiveness. Beyond sheer capacity, this tanker boasts some of the most advanced refueling technology in the world. The ARBs, mounted on the aircraft's tail and operated by a boomer in the cockpit, can be run manually or automatically, assisted by 3D cameras to ensure precision both day and night. Within four hours, it can transfer up to 50 tons of fuel to other aircraft via multiple methods, most notably the Aerial Refueling Boom System, ARBs, which delivers fuel at 3,600 kilograms per minute to fighters such as the F-16 and F-35A. Alongside the boom, the A330 MRTT features underwing pods using the hose and drogue system to refuel aircraft such as the Rafale and Mirage 2000. Two underwing refueling pods allow simultaneous refueling of two FA-18 Hornets at a rate of 1-300 kg per minute each. In practice, a single MRTT can deliver 64 tons of fuel to 18 Rafales within a 926 km radius, or 55 tons within 1,850 km. 
Fly-by-wire controls for the boom and high-resolution 2D, 3D digital displays significantly enhance the operator's field of view. And you know what? On June 20, 23, during Pegasus operation, five French A330 MRTTs worked alongside 10 Rafales and four A400Ms, flying non-stop to Malaysia and Singapore in just 30 hours, then continuing to New Caledonia and Polynesia, a clear demonstration of endurance and global deployment capability. Notably, the Smart MRTT project, developed with the Republic of Singapore Air Force, enabled Airbus to achieve the world's first automatic in-flight refueling, A3R, using a boom in 2022, daytime, followed in July 2024 by over 500 nighttime test refuelings, paving the way for certification early next year. This level of automation is rapidly becoming a new standard in military aviation. In particular, this tanker can be fitted with one of two powerful engine options, the General Electric CF680E1A3 with 72,000 pounds, or the Rolls-Royce Trent 772B with 71,000 pounds of thrust. As a result, it can fly 1,000 nautical miles and transfer up to 70 tons of fuel in just one hour, 25% more than many other tankers. For comparison, the US KC-46A Pegasus carries only 96,197 kilograms of fuel, a significant shortfall compared to the MRTT, underscoring the clear dominance of this European design. Finally, this tanker's strength lies in its compatibility and operational reach. It is fully interoperable with the primary aircraft of many air forces, including the C-17 Globemaster, F-15 Eagle, F-16 Falcon, F-35A Lightning II, F-22 Raptor, B-52 Stratofortress, and with hose and drogue systems for aircraft such as the F-35B Lightning II, F-A-18 Hornet, Mirage 2000, Rafale, and Su-30 Flanker. Beyond its core mission of aerial refueling, the A-330 MRTT serves as a formidable platform for both military and humanitarian transport. Built on the proven commercial A330 airframe, it combines long-range endurance with heavy payload capacity and a remarkable adaptability to diverse operations. While its primary role is to extend the reach of combat aircraft by delivering fuel mid-air, the MRTT's cavernous cabin can accommodate up to 300 fully equipped troops, offering the range, speed, and comfort of a civilian airliner while carrying the muscle of a military workhorse. Besides, its cargo capability is equally impressive. Beneath the passenger deck lies a vast lower deck hold designed for flexibility, capable of handling NATO military pallets, civilian unit load devices, and standard cargo pallets. The aircraft features two large cargo compartments, forward and aft, plus an additional bulk compartment at the rear, combining for a maximum payload of 99,000 pounds, 45,000 kilograms. This capacity makes it ideal for rapid deployment operations, ensuring combat-ready forces and vital equipment can be delivered swiftly to theaters of operation. By contrast, the US KC-46, while capable of carrying a respectable cargo load, maxes out at 65,000 pounds, 29,500 kilograms, limiting its ability to move large volumes of personnel and materiel in a single lift. However, the MRTT's flexibility extends far beyond combat logistics. When the mission shifts from battlefront support to life-saving operations, the aircraft can be rapidly reconfigured into a fully equipped airborne hospital. In a medical evacuation setup, the cabin can be modified to reduce seating to just 88 passengers while accommodating 32 stretchers and two intensive care units. In a full aeromedical evacuation configuration, it can carry up to 130 stretchers, making it an indispensable asset for humanitarian missions or battlefield casualty evacuation on a massive scale. The KC-46, while also adaptable for medevac duties, falls short here as well, limited to just 54 stretchers in its medical role. In essence, the MRTT is far more than a flying gas station. It is a strategic transport, a troop mover, and when required, a life-saving medical platform, capable of switching roles with remarkable speed. Whether delivering reinforcements to the front lines or evacuating the wounded from conflict zones, it embodies the kind of operational versatility that modern air forces demand. After having proven itself as far more than a mere airborne gas station, serving as a strategic transport, a flying hospital, and even a mobile logistics hub, the A330 MRTT also excels in another arena, unrivaled reliability and a truly global presence. Building on these formidable advantages, it has dominated aerial refueling tenders around the world. Its success is driven not only by cutting-edge technical capabilities, but by the deep trust it has earned from air forces across every continent. This is not simply an aircraft they want, it's an asset they consider indispensable.
With 10 operators across 15 countries, this multi-role tanker transport fleet has amassed over 300,000 flight hours, a testament to its exceptional operational readiness and endurance. Those hours represent thousands of successful missions, from routine training sorties to full-scale combat operations. The MRTT's operational cloud is reinforced by its certification to refuel over 25 different aircraft types, from light fighters and reconnaissance platforms to heavy airlifters and even strategic bombers. Its refueling systems can be configured with impressive flexibility. The hose and drogue method, the rigid flying boom, or fuselage-mounted refueling units for large aircraft like the A400M. Commanding more than 90% of the global market outside the United States, the MRTT has become the default choice for major customers, including Australia, France, NATO's multinational MRTT fleet, Saudi Arabia, Singapore, South Korea, the United Arab Emirates, the United Kingdom, Spain, and Canada. To date, Airbus has sold a total of 82 aircraft, a figure that speaks not just to commercial success, but to the deep trust placed in the MRTT by the world's leading air forces. Its influence extends well beyond sales. In Europe, it plays a pivotal role in bolstering strategic autonomy and collective security. Since the outbreak of the Russia-Ukraine conflict, this tanker has been the backbone of NATO's air shielding missions, deploying fighter jets and ground-based air defense systems to protect the skies and borders of eight member states. These operations stretch across more than 2,500 kilometers of territory, from Estonia to Bulgaria, sustaining deterrence and rapid response at all times. Notably, NATO's multinational MRTT unit currently operates eight of the ten aircraft it has ordered, ensuring seamless aerial refueling for Allied fighters and dramatically enhancing their interoperability, endurance, and combat readiness in any scenario. And yet, the story of the A330 MRTT would not be complete without its historic challenge to the most competitive aerospace market in the world, the United States. In the fierce competition to replace the U.S. Air Force's aging tanker fleet, the MRTT's version, the KC-45, shocked the industry by winning the initial contract bid in 2008. Although the contract was later cancelled and the U.S. Air Force ultimately selected Boeing's KC-46A Pegasus, that victory cemented the MRTT's reputation as a formidable and highly capable aircraft, proving it could threaten the U.S. defense rival. By building the MRTT on the foundation of the A330, a platform that is not only newer but inherently more advanced than its rivals, Airbus has ensured that this tanker will remain upgradable for decades to come, ready to integrate technologies that don't even exist yet. Not only that, the arrival of the A330neo opens the door to an even more formidable generation of MRTT with greater range, improved fuel efficiency, and unmatched operational effectiveness. With this tanker's capabilities, do you think it deserves to dominate the segment?